Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro and today this phone is posing as the Mi 90 Pro because we are talking about the complete review of MIUI 12.5 for this device which was released globally. Not the Indian version but the global update. I flashed this two days back, you saw initial impressions and this is the complete review. Now remember, this is not a 5 point ROM review system. We are going to go the user experience way. Similar video is there for the Poco X3 Pro as well. So this this is my secondary device for now I do use whatsapp and other things on this I do use the camera on this a lot so you will get a good idea by the end of this video if this update is worth or not but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where we are more than a thousand members and you can get all the help you need so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going all right so MIUI 12.5.1 now this update for the K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro is much more significant than it is for the Poco X3 Pro the reason this not only got a big MIUI version bump it also got Android 11 so that makes it even more special and even more important so we flashed it we used it I used the camera I did do some gaming on it and I do you know some screen recording and a lot of things now this of course here is 12.5.1 the global version so if you long press over here you go to settings you go to more you will see that it does come with system launcher and it does have the beautiful global app icon animations or global icon app animations whatever you want to call it so they work subtle they work great and the whole layout of the home screen is as it is because that is how i prefer using the phone in stock form now you will notice that to the left we don't really have google discover or the google now feed because that is something i really really like and i have been saying that in each and every video of mine but it's okay if it's not there it's not there you can't do much about that so at the top you do have the new action center if you go all the way down you will see that they have fixed the brightness slider and when you adjust the brightness everything else disappears and stuff so as i said in the other video as well i'm not going to repeat stuff which i've already said in previous videos you do have a lot of notification tiles which you can access and to the left you do have the notifications and everything works as expected so today we're going to focus more on how the usage experience is how's the battery life how's the charging how is the camera and how is the gaming performance along with a cpu throttle test and some benchmark numbers because that should give you a real world real experience if you want to go ahead and flash this or not now remember this is a global update so you would want to go ahead and have an unlocked bootloader along with TWRP installed so let's get into it the first thing whenever you flash a ROM would be you'd go to settings and you'll have a look at all the specifications this of course is MIUI 12.5 and the security patch is the 1st of May it does come with the stock kernel of course this is a stock ROM but it does come with Android 11 so that is good the Android 11 Easter egg the cat game is working fine but not something important moving on if you actually go to other features and options like always on display notification effect right now this is what I am a little concerned about because if you are giving such a big update you should be giving some new features at least but over here on older devices what Xiaomi have done is they've added one or two features here and there now mind you these two are flagship level devices the K20 Pro has a Snapdragon 855 and an AMOLED display the Poco X3 Pro has a Snapdragon 860 and an LCD panel with a 120Hz refresh rate so I'm not saying that they are giving up on the phones but if you look at the MIUI 12.5 Chinese version it is way more smoother than this it performs way better so coming to that point the performance on this is no slouch either as you can see even if you have multiple applications in the memory everything works smooth as butter so Overall, you know, when it comes to 12 to 12.5, they have definitely improved the experience. That is what I would say. Overall, the animations, the effects and everything, the whole UI feels more cohesive and it works 
like one unit which is something really really nice now what are the things that i use on the secondary phone i mainly do a lot of gaming i like the camera on the k20 pro so i do click a lot of pictures and the picture quality and stuff has been standard across this device for a very very long time i think after miui 11 the camera quality on the k20 pro has not taken a hit neither it has improved so you do have the usual vlog mode 48 megapixel mode and on the options which were already present so if you are expecting that with the introduction of miui 12.5 you're going to get new camera features hold your horses not gonna happen right so about the camera super reliable no errors works absolutely fine night mode and all the other features are working great apart from this calling and voice over lt voice over wi-fi all the options work as expected because what do you expect this is a stock rom and it will perform like a stock rom now apart from this if you actually look at the security application you go to settings over here right and you go to about 5.3 0.0-210508.1.2 this is a security app version and if you actually go ahead and launch the game turbo or game booster this is the same old game turbo they have not added any major changes with this particular update so I don't know why they are doing this but a lot of things are missing out which are present in MIUI 12.5 for example you do have the horizontal multitasking menu you do have floating windows cleaner security scan find apps manage apps if you press and hold a particular application you can go ahead and use split screen multitasking you can lock the apps so all those features for me have been working absolutely fine and as far as charging is concerned as you know from day one on this device i use a 27 watt fast charger which gives you access to mi turbo charge and that for me has been working great also if you ask me about the battery life miui 12.5 has not disappointed me when it comes to the battery life if you go to battery and performance I've recently charged this phone and we've just lost about very very less battery in benchmarks and stuff so it's working absolutely fine the battery backup the charging no issues there no boot loops no major errors or nothing like that moving on let's actually have a look at the benchmark numbers so CPU throttling test first all right now it does say cpu throttle to 88 percent of its max performance now mind you i did use game turbo in this to get the best result but i'm really surprised that the performance numbers are looking great they are not out of the world but for a stock rom it's pretty good it's not throttling a lot at all now moving on the same experience is there in geekbench as well so if you go to geekbench and if you go to history over here right 711 and 2590 now that is a pretty decent score you know just very very in line with the stock rom that you always get so all in all what i'm trying to say over here is if you own a mi 90 pro and you get a prompt that you have this update i would say go ahead and update because it's better than the current update the performance has not taken a hit my touch my gaming has been absolutely fine the reliability is there the phone charges fast and the battery backup is pretty good as well this from my end was a user experience of the last three days right the phone doesn't heat up you don't have any unexpected bugs here and there so all in all good job xiaomi with this particular update let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye